Hello, ghouls and masters. Welcome back to Planet Him. So as y'all know, we've been on the road with Monster High lately. The last like what, like few months or so. Yeah, we've been we've been on a, on a road with Monster High for sure. But today we're gonna get into some stuff, child. Today we have pictures of Torilai and Laguna in box. Y'all know we've, we've been waiting forever for Laguna. No one has her, except for I think one person now, at least that we know of. I think that one person is like on Facebook or something like that. But yeah, um, we finally have pictures of Laguna and she looks pretty similar to her prototype in my opinion. There are a few changes here and there, but she looks pretty similar. But before we hop in, child, please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. And make sure you guys also go follow my Instagram and TikTok because you guys do not want to miss out. Now let's hop right into this video. I'm the manager. Who the fuck are you? Okay, so first we're going to start off with Torilai. So basically, the person who found this doll was over on Facebook. I guess they went to their Walmart and they found the doll tucked in the shelf somewhere. Um, Everything? Okay. <laughs> Honey, I wish I just had that look. I wish I just had that look. I think it's the only time I found a doll out kind of early, but it wasn't really that early because the dolls were popping out around that time. But I found like Phaedra West like a little early, but it really was like the people already did have her. But um, yeah, no, if I was able to like, find Gulia in Target, girl, let me go check my targets. I gotta go check my targets. But usually I feel like Target is pretty good at not putting stuff out early, but sometimes they really, they do. They do put stuff out early sometimes too, but I don't know, child. Anyways, someone found Torlai in Walmart, and we have up-close pictures of her. And all I can say, really, is she's interesting, okay? I, it's not what I was expecting. Like, trust me, she is cute. I just, I wasn't expecting this. Honestly, okay, so first, I was kind of expecting a rounder face. In Torlai's animated version we seen a while ago, the face was, like, um, a lot, like, rounder. You know, and I was, I thought she was going to have a face like that. But, you know, that's something, you know, okay. Um, the long hair is definitely something I wasn't expecting. But, however, I feel like they're going to start doing that. And, um, I don't know. I feel like that's going to be a thing. This long hair now, I feel like that's going to be a thing for sure. Because we get that with all these other doll lines. They got super long hair. And I feel like they're going to kind of just be like, hey, like we're going to give them long hair. And if you want to cut it, you can cut it. I feel like that's very much what it's going to be. But I feel like other than those few differences, um, I feel like the doll looks pretty similar to the artwork for sure. Okay, so I genuinely feel like the face is cute. Okay, I do like the eyebrows, the eyes, the lips. Like, I feel like the face is cute. I do, however, wish the stripes on her forehead were, like, um, a lot more dramatic. Like, I wish they were a lot bigger than that. They're too small for me. Oh, yeah, I need them to be bigger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't like that, like, they're hiding under the hair like that. No, I need them to, like, dang near come down to, like, the middle of her forehead. Okay, so now we have a little bit of a wider angle. As you see, they come with eye coffins. All the basic dolls, I guess, come with eye coffins now, which I love, okay? Because I feel like phones and, like, social media is, like, a big thing now. So them having phones and the fact that they can actually hold them is everything, okay? I, I live for that. 100%. And I'm so happy they decided to include those in the basic dolls. Um, however, um, okay, so down to the outfit. Mm, I'm very on the fence about it. Okay, I love the shirt and I feel like the skirt is cute. I don't know how I feel about the belt, though. Just in this picture, it could definitely like look a lot, look, like, look, oh my gosh, it could definitely look a lot better in person and um, be more presentable. But just like the way it's looking right here, I just, uh, I'm just not feeling it. The jacket, however, I do wish the jacket had those little spikes like she does in the animation, but it doesn't seem to have those. The jacket is cute. I just wish that they had the spikes on there. Down to the shoes. I did not know how I felt about them at first, but I think with the outfit and everything, they're cute. However, I don't think, I think that those are supposed to be purple socks. And if those are purple socks, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay, let me stop. Maybe... I don't know. It's not that big of a deal. I just feel like actual socks would have been cute. <sighs> but they're cute. I like the boots. They're cute, though. Anyways, to the accessories. Um, She comes with a thing of milk, a thing of tuna, I think. And then this really, really cute shirt. I really, really like this shirt, actually. It's it's really everything. As far as her pets, her her pet, she still comes with Sweet Fang really really cute okay i love the details on these pets honestly 
Um, they are like a lot more like kind of cartoonish and very Barbie extra like in a way, but I don't know, I like them. I think they're cute. Like, I think they're cute for sure. She does come with this cute little gray bag that says Misfits on the front of it. Um, and as you can see, she does come with a mic and um, a mic stand. And as you guys know, Tori Lai has always like, she's always like sang in the episodes, but it was very much like she was a bad singer and, and she didn't know how to sing until like Boo York when she stole Caddy's voice. So I do kind of like that they're making her a music girl. Like she's super into music and stuff now. So I really, really like that. I can't wait to see her personality because I don't know. Um, you know how Torlai used to act? I just wonder if she's still going to act like that. You know, it's going to be interesting to see. I cannot wait to see all of their new personalities like in this animated series and in the movie. I, I'm just so excited for that. I don't think Torlai's in the movie though. I don't, yeah, I don't think they put Torlai in the movie. I don't think we heard anything about be her being casted or anything. So yeah, she, I, don't, I don't know. I guess we'll see when the movie comes out. But I love that she has a tail. I really, really wish that they did the stripes on the legs again. I don't know. I just feel like she's missing those little details. You know, I just wish like the stripes on her head were bigger. And I wish she had the stripes on her legs and just... I don't know. I wish there was just more um, more of that throughout the outfit. I mean, throughout the outfit, throughout the doll. But I mean, other than that... She's okay. I mean, I'm gonna have to really wait until I see her to really give an actual opinion because I'm just kind of like iffy about some of the things. But I think overall, she's a, she's a cute dog for sure. And I, I'm definitely gonna end up getting her. Okay, so next up we have Laguna Blue. And oh my gosh. Okay, look, let's, let's shut up. Um, so, okay, this picture is from the Toy Boy Universe on Instagram. I think they said they got it from somebody over, over on Facebook. And if you guys know who the owner of the picture is, please leave it down in the comments and I'll pin the comment and everything. Anyways, okay. This doll is beautiful. Okay, Laguna looks amazing. There's a reason she was she was one of the last ones shown. Even though she's in the first little five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, because she's sickening. Yeah. Everything about her is just amazing. Like, and it all flows together. Her whole outfit looks really, really nice together. I love the scales on the forehead. Um, the scales were in on her forehead on the prototype pictures. I'm on the uh coffin bean pictures, but they weren't painted. But now they're actually painted blue, like the artwork. And I love that. Okay. You got the blue fading into the forehead and the blue kind of fading in from the legs everything okay so let's zoom in and get a little closer child okay so right off the bat the face is giving the hair is giving i really really love the hair color the scales on the forehead are definitely everything i really love the thick eyebrows and i think she has brown eyes maybe green i mean they're looking a, a little brown i know in the artwork they're like brown so i don't know maybe maybe they are brown now um but yeah the face is giving I'm sorry. It's giving. I didn't know how I was going to feel about the outfit at first, but actually seeing it like in the box, I feel like the outfit is a lot better. I didn't hate the outfit before, but I think seeing it like this, I really, really like it. Okay. Oh, the face is everything. I just really love the scales. Um, I like her bag. Neptuna is adorable. Okay. Neptuna is everything. Okay. So I just have to say it. I think Laguna has the best pet. Mm-hmm. Oh, Yeah. Oh, yeah. Neptuna is sickening. I love... Okay. Because before, I feel like Neptuna was very simple. And, like, it wasn't a bad simple. Especially, like, with the little um, fish bowl purse. It was just a vibe altogether. But seeing Neptuna like this with the extra fin. And I don't know. Just, like, the way they're curved and styled. It's just so... I don't... Something about Neptuna is adorable. And that's why I think Neptuna wins for the for, for best pet for sure for sure i want to hear who you think has the best pet mm -hmm. who do you think has the best pet i think overall laguna's first off laguna's pet is different from everyone else's and on top of that like i'm look at neptuna i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry neptuna's everything she's that girl oh yeah oh yeah Laguna's really everything. Like, I think Laguna may have worked her way up to about a good two or three. I mean, she was she was at like a good solid three before, but she might look, 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 Cleo might. I look, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But also, I don't have Cleo yet, so I can't speak on that just yet. However, 
Laguna Sickening. All right, here's the back of the box. I just want to show you guys what the artwork and everything looks like real quick. Um, yeah, uh, let's go down and read the little bio thing. Just because I'm sure we've all seen the artwork at this point. So monster type is splash tastic sea monster. Monster must haves, shell phone, and kelp crisps. And monster pet, Neptuna. But yeah, y'all, out of Torlai and Laguna, who's your favorite? Hmm. Which one, if you're in a store and you're looking at them, which one are you finna grab first? What do you rank them? What do you rate them? How do you feel about these dolls? Because I really do want to know, because I think Laguna is, is definitely one of the best ones. Torlai, mm, I don't know. I don't see her being a, a top, um, like a top five, six. Like, I don't see her being up there like that, to be honest with you. Um, but she definitely is cute though. Torlai isn't, she's not ugly at all. I just really wish that she had more stripes on her body. That's the only thing that really bothers me is the stripes. That's it. That's about it. But I want to hear all you guys' thoughts and opinions down below. Please let me know because I really want to hear it. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. And make sure you guys are also being yourself and staying true to who you are because you're yourself that at least. Peace, y'all.